This is not about feelings, it's about survival. I am not here to make you feel good or tell you that everyone will be fine when things fall apart. I am here to tell you the truth. In a collapse, only those who are prepared, those who are strong and determined, will have a chance to survive. When resources disappear and society breaks down, comfort and complacency will get you nowhere. You are either ready to face it or you're gonna struggle. The reality is dark, but knowing it now can make you a true ally when it hits the fan. If you're not prepared, you will be on the losing side of survival. This is not about comfort, it's survival. My message here is not to make you feel good. It is here to prepare you for the brutal reality. Survival does not care about feelings. When a collapse hits, only those who are truly prepared and mentally tough will make it through. And only the strong will survive. In a true crisis, strength matter more than good intentions. If you're not ready to face the harsh realities and take hard actions, you are not prepared for what is coming. The weak, the unprepared, and the naive will become casualties. You have to face the reality of your neighbors. Your neighbors and friends can quickly turn into your biggest threat when resources become scarce. If you're not prepared, you're just another target. True allies in an SHTF are only those as prepared as you are. Everyone else is a potential risk. I am here to prepare you, not to cuddle you. I am not here to reassure or sugarcoat anything. If you're looking for comfort, look somewhere else. My role is to warn you, to help you prepare for a collapse, and to make you realize that survival requires grit and determination, not blind optimism. Being unprepared is an automatic loss. In an SHTF, the unprepared will suffer and become part of the chaos. If you're waiting for help or hoping somebody will come to rescue you, you are setting yourself a failure. Every person who refuses to prepare weakens their chances. There are no allies without action. If you want to be part of a resilient network in a collapse, you need to contribute and be prepared. I don't want to face unprepared individuals during a crisis. I want allies who are capable and ready. If you don't prepare now, you will be on the losing side of survival.